Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my product or of my horizontal product differentiation videos. Uh, part one ended kind of abruptly, so let me remind you where we were. We had just solved for these demand curves for two exogenously located firms. That means that we told firm A and B where to be, they didn't actually get to choose it. But given where they are, this video is going to help us figure out what prices they should choose. If I ever get to making a part three, I will build off of this price choosing video to then let them also choose their location. Eh, we'll see though, that might be a while. Uh, anyway, how do we choose price? Well, it's pretty simple. I mean, if you've ever used calculus in your econ before, you're gonna have some function, that's a profit for firm A, which is equal to QA times price A minus their per unit cost for firm A. And what you would do is you would take the derivative of your profit for firm A with respect to your price for firm A and set that equal to zero. That's how we're gonna choose the optimal price. First order conditions, we do it a lot in econ. Let's get more explicit about this. Profit for firm A is equal to Let's see, the quantity is A plus B over 2 plus PB minus PA over 2T. So there's my quantity. And then price for firm A minus cost for firm A. And so we will take the derivative of profit for firm A with respect to price for firm A. And if you're rusty on your calculus, we're going to need our product rule and our power rule. See the links up in the corner for details, or not details, but videos that can help you. Uh, the derivative of what's in the parentheses first is minus one over two t times whatever's in the second parenthesis, p a minus c a, plus all the stuff in the first parenthesis, a plus b over two plus p b minus P A over 2T times the derivative of what's in the second parenthesis. So we're going to set all that stuff equal to zero. And when we do that, we're going to solve for P A, which enters this equation twice. Our best response function for firm A is defined as the price of A is equal to one half times T times A plus B plus C A plus P B. And that is just the solution to the equation directly above it. We're going to follow very similar steps to get a best response function for firm B. We know the profit for firm B, oops, lowercase, profit for firm B is equal to one, let's see, so the quantity for firm B is one minus the quantity for firm A. A plus B over two minus PB minus PA over two T. There's quantity times price minus cost per unit. All right, so there's firm B's profit, firm B's the way we're going to get their best response is the same way. Derivative of profit for firm B. You're trying to do it every day. Sorry about that. Firm B. With respect to the price of firm B, we're going to set that equal to zero. And from there, we'll get a best response for firm B. BRF for B is defined as price for B equals... Uh, what did I get? T over 2 times 2 minus A minus B plus CB over 2 plus PA over 2. Okay, we got two best response functions now. And I skipped some tedious algebra to get there, but what do we do with these once we have them? Well, what we're gonna do 
is we're going to find the intersection. Where do these two things overlap each other? And the way we do that, there's two options. We can either substitute firm A's best response into firm B, which would be plugging in all of this stuff right where firm A's price goes. Or we can substitute firm B's price, which is set equal to all of this stuff, into there. Either one works. They should get us the right answer. So I'm going to just pick one. It doesn't particularly matter. Let's see. Price for firm A is equal to one half times T times A plus B plus C A. And just for convenience, I'm going to end my parenthesis here and put another one half on the firm B price. But here we're going to substitute in the best response for firm B. T over two times two minus A minus B plus CB two plus PA over two. Okay, so we've got this bigger equation now. All of this is one term, by the way. And I've got PA here, and I've got PA here. And you'll see that there's no PB anywhere in that equation. So I can actually solve for PA. That'll be my equilibrium price for firm A. And it's going to equal T over 3 times 2 plus A plus B plus 2 thirds. C A plus one third C B, which there's also a simplification that often happens. A lot of times people will assume that the firms have symmetric production. C A equals C B equals C, in which case our P A star would just be T over three times two plus A A plus B, all of that plus C. And that's probably the one you're going to see more often, uh, at least for most people who are watching this video. And then we can do this same process in reverse. I can substitute firm A's price into firm B. So let me just mark this as being a special price. I'll go ahead and roll with this assumption. Let's just say, yep, we're doing it. So for firm B now, price for firm B is equal to T halves times 2 minus A minus B plus C over 2. Notice I'm not putting the B on it because we're rolling with this assumption. C over 2 plus one half P A star. And so that's one half times T over three plus two plus A plus B plus C. Okay, you get the idea. What's this all come out to be equal to? P B star is going to equal T over three times 4 minus A minus B plus C. And we have equilibrium prices as functions of firms' locations A and B and their symmetric cost. So what did we have to do to get, all, to get these answers? Well, we built profit functions based on the demand curves, where it was quantity, which is demand, times price minus cost. And we took derivatives of those with respect to their own prices, set it equal to zero to get these best response functions. And we found the intersection of the best response functions. So I hope this is helpful to you. 
Uh, this can be kind of tricky stuff for a lot of people, but I also think it's kind of interesting stuff. So, you know, hope it helped. If not, too bad. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.